Hello everyone, it's Lava here with a video on the Peerless Chief Periximus in Ultima Online. First off, I would like to say that if I am murdering the name Periximus, it can't really be helped. But you will absolutely know what I'm talking about, so that's kind of okay, right? In order to fight this Peerless, you first need to go to the Palace of Periximus, which is located northwest of the city of Papua in the Lost Lands. It can be found in both Feluca and Trammel facets. You will need an acid proof rope in your bag in order to get into the area. Luckily for you, if you do not have one, you can complete the quest at the front of the dungeon for the mere price of 5,000 gold. He will give you one after you complete the quest. Just for the sake of coverage, the acid proof rope is an item that can be crafted by carpenters. A recipe is required and it can be obtained as a quest reward from Heartwood or recovered from chests recovered by treasured maps. It takes two switches, two greater strength potions, and a scroll of protection to craft. At GM skill, you will have a 90% chance of successfully creating this item. They still have a chance to be destroyed when you enter the palace, but if they aren't, the message saying that the rope has been weakened by the acid really doesn't mean anything. There is quite an assortment of monsters down here, but as a sampire, I would recommend using a spell channeling double axe to make sure that the corrosion does not eat at your weapon. Demon Slayer would also be pretty effective, but even though Periximus is a demon prince, he does not take any type of slayer. You will need four different keys in order to summon the mighty Periximus. Corrosive slimes will drop the skull, torso, and legs for this. If for any reason you need to exit the dungeon, the exit can be found just east and then north of the entrance. A green demon named the Putrefire will drop the Spleen of the Putrefire, which is the fourth key. He is located at the southwest corner of the dungeon. He can pack a punch, so make sure you are careful when fighting him. All of the keys will have a timer of six days when you first get them, so you do have some time before you need to use them. When you are going to Periximus, make sure that you walk on the rock path, or you can instantly die if you do not. You place all four keys into the cauldron to get a special slime, slimy ointment. Each player must double click an ointment in order to cross the acid to the north. Once you double click the gate, you will be in the room with Chief Periximus. The gate will stay open for about 30 seconds. Once the gate shuts, the next character will be able to go through the slime or the acid and get into the area. There are three blobs that are inside with him that you should be dealt with first. Once this is done, just constantly watch your health because Periximus will use lethal poison on you. He does move extremely slow, so if you find yourself at about 50%, just move away and use confidence or whatever abilities you have to heal. Do not use pets or summons while fighting this monster. He will eat them and heal himself to full. If you die and you are on a mount, log off before this happens to put your pet into a safe location. He does hit extremely hard and has a ton of hit points, but with a group of sampires, you should be able to take him down in no time. As far as special loot goes, he does drop a few decorative items and a scepter, and has a shot of dropping a Crimson Censure. The most important item though is the Proxima Swamp Dragon. It has a permanent Dragon Barding Deed that applies a 12% damage reduction to its rider in PVM combat. This is less than the 20% for an exceptionally crafted Barding Deed, but it never breaks. Once you go through the Moon Gate, you will be back in Papua, just east of the bank. And there you have it. You have defeated Jabba the Hutt. I mean, Chief Periximus. Thank you all for watching, and please hit that subscribe button for more content.